I'm Andrew Hancock. I'm in the mountains of Patagonia in Argentina, and I'm working with the new Nikon D7200. Images right out of the Nikon D7200 are fantastic, but I'm looking for a little more creativity and latitude when it comes to my photos, so I'm gonna use the flat picture control profile. The flat picture control is a new profile in the Nikon D7200. It gives you a very flat photograph. It's low in contrast, and it's got a pretty neutral saturation in the photo. Picture control flat delivers the richest information from shadow to highlight among all your picture control options. It's very advantageous for both the RAW and the JPEG shooter. I'm a RAW shooter and I stick with this profile more than any others, but for a JPEG shooter who's ready just to share an image with their creativity and their style right out of the camera, this is a great option as well. Since I've been in Patagonia, I've encountered several similar scenes, especially when photographing the gaucho culture. In shooting gauchos, I felt this would be the perfect opportunity to create two custom picture control profiles, utilizing flat that would help really tell their story and show the personality of who they are. Now while you can certainly make adjustments to your picture control profile in camera, by using the picture control utility too, you're afforded a lot more creative freedom because you can make adjustments based on what you see on a reference image. So follow me for a brief moment and I'll show you how to create your own custom picture control profile with the Nikon Picture Control Utility 2. The first profile I'm creating is a really desaturated moody look with a lot of texture. You can adjust the sliders on your contrast and brightness like I did, but you also have the option to create your own custom tone curve. You have a lot of creativity whichever way you go. For my first test, I decided to keep it simple and stay with changing my sliders to the contrast and the brightness. So I'm gonna bring my contrast probably up to 3.0, so I'm gonna max that out. But for brightness, I'm only gonna bring that up to 1.0. Now here's where I think I'm really gonna get my mood out of the photo, is I'm gonna take the desaturation as far down as I can to minus three. And that's it. I think it's a really nice scene. For my second custom profile, I wanted to build a look with a lot of saturation and clarity that really helps show off the dramatic scenes here in Patagonia. So I'm gonna start by adjusting my sharpening. I really wanna add a lot more texture and definition to the mountains, the grasses, and the vegetation. I'm also gonna increase my clarity, and this is gonna help again bring out a lot of mid-tone contrast and add a lot of texture to the vegetation. I'm only bringing my contrast up by about a point this time, but my brightness I'm gonna bring up a little higher. I'm also gonna bring the saturation for this profile all the way up to three to give it an entirely different look from the desaturated look I already created. So now that I've created my two custom profiles, I have to export them to the SD card. You need to have a card inserted in the side of the computer, and then you can give it your own custom name. I'm going to start off with Gaucho. Now your new profile is ready to load into your card, and then right into the camera. To see what I could do with these new picture control profiles, I brought the Gaucho out to Rio Blanco, and I wanted to put him in a couple different scenarios to see what would work best for each situation. You can see the style that you custom created applied to the picture instantly right on the back of the camera. When friends and family see your pictures looking so great right out of the camera, they're all going to be impressed. 